In May of 2023, Good Shepherd Healthcare System in Hermiston was given a grant of nearly $50,000 from the Oregon Center for Nursing. Apple Valley News Now's Anna Trejo says this money is going towards helping healthcare workers, which might just save their lives. The Oregon Center of Nursing surveyed 5,000 nurses and got some alarming feedback. 97% of those surveyed say they are burnt out overloaded with work and are experiencing high stress levels leading workers to want to leave their jobs or contemplate suicide. Good Shepherd Healthcare System wanted to help its healthcare workers get some help and applied for a grant through the Oregon Center for Nursing's RN Wellbeing Program. And what COVID taught us is that it's, it's really a lot of micro stressors building up over time and we realized we really need to place a, a strategic focus on making sure we are helping people develop coping mechanisms. The constant pressure to provide quality care to patients takes a huge toll on mental health and can increase anxiety and depression. The grant will help the hospital focus on the well-being of its health care workers. One of the ways it's being applied is partnering with Community Counseling Solutions. Jessica Rieker is a director of community and outreach for Good Shepherd, says. The key is finding healthier methods to cope. Individual counseling sessions and group counseling sessions are offered both inside and virtually. When workers are experiencing a decline in mental health, it can lead to errors due to lack of attention to detail, which can compromise patient safety. Janine Redding, Vice President of Human Resources says the grant, a total of over $49,000, can also help keep quality healthcare workers on the job. The, the ethos of what we're trying to achieve with this grant and different programs like this is just making sure that we take care of our employees so that they can focus on taking care of the community. Um, that's really the driving force behind why we're doing this. Writing says healthcare workers at the hospital have already booked appointments and are making sure they are taken care of as they take care of us. Reporting in Hermiston, Ana Trejo, Apple Valley News Now. Now, the grant is expected to last two years, and the ultimate goal, of course, is to improve the well-being of the participants.